This is going to be a video about um, a 250 uh, quadcopter frame I got from goodluckbuy.com. It's kind of a knockoff of a, a blackout quad. Um, this is the ZMR250 uh, fiberglass mini quadcopter frame and it's 21 bucks. Um, there's two versions of it. There's a fiberglass one and then there's also uh, a carbon fiber one for double the price for forty four dollars roughly forty three forty four um, anyways I opted for the the twenty one dollar one because I didn't want to commit to uh, to the two fifty quads until uh, I gave it a try uh, I just wanted to mention one thing about this kit is that it says on the website it, the weight is one hundred and twenty two grams um, that is not true when I weighed this frame, uh, once I received it, I put it all together, it was 170 grams. So, uh, I don't know what they're measuring, but it's definitely not 122 grams. So, it is a little bit hefty. Um, but for 21 bucks, I'm willing to give it a try. So, this is the quadcopter frame that I did in another video. Um, I built this frame myself out of carbon fiber uh, square tubing um, with these ZMR 1804 2400KV motors and um, Simon K, pre-flash Simon K, uh, Emacs um, ESCs through 12 amps. Um, I got all this stuff from banggood.com. Um, I'll put a link to a video of this frame where I talk about it a bit more and I take it out for a, a quick test flight. So what I want to do is I want to take all the hardware off this and put it on this guy. So this is the frame, the $21 frame from Good Luck Buy. It's fiberglass. Um, it's fairly rigid once put together. Fiberglass is more flexible than carbon fiber. Carbon fiber is a lot more rigid. Um, so they had to make this probably a little thicker, that's where the weight difference probably comes from between the two uh, quadcopter frames. Um, I'll mention the hardware, it comes with all the hardware, the standoffs, um, two millimeter hex bolts um, is what you'll need to put this together. It's got a little vibration dampening for a Mobius camera, at least that's the shape of it. I'd like to put a GoPro 3 on it, I might have to make my own little little um, little uh, mount for it um, just simple landing gear that just clips on symmetrical uh, arms it came with all of these hex bolts and nuts so just a few little things about putting it together uh, these standoffs make sure to put the standoffs on this top plate before you bolt the arms and the bottom plate on because you can't get to the screws otherwise so that's really important That'll save you some some trouble because I did it uh, the other way first. I put the arms and then realized, hey, I'd take it all apart, put the standoffs on. Um, it's a nice size. It's fairly solid. Uh, so you have your mounting holes for a smaller type of uh, flight controller. I don't know if a KK2 will fit in there, and I don't really plan on putting a KK2 in there. I have uh, multi Wii Pro on order. I'm still waiting on that. So when I get that, I'm going to put all the motors, ESCs. I'm going to load this down. Uh, I have a board camera to stick in here and a 200 milliwatt mini FPV transmitter. And we'll see uh, how this thing flies. So this was just a quick, quick overview. If In case you guys are interested and wondering what the build quality is like with this frame, it seems okay. And, you know, obviously it's not going to be as good as a real blackout frame, but those are always on back order. Um, and probably for good reason, because they seem to be of super high quality. But, this was 21 bucks, so we'll give it a try and see what happens. Anyways, thanks for watching, and the next video will be, uh, hopefully, this flying in the air.